So the first part of September is when we usually are expecting our first frost of the season here in Zone 3 Saskatchewan, Canada. So when it gets to that time of the year, you start thinking about taking cuttings from plants such as your colases that you want to bring in or bring in your peppers or any kind of plants that you can try over winter indoors. And I also, you know, as you've seen in other videos, I take uh, seeds from my petunias, pansies, snapdragons, whatever I can easily collect seeds from and save them for the following spring. So every day when I'm leaving work, I walk past all these beautiful planters that the city has out on the boulevards and they are full of all sorts of beautiful flowers, coleuses, potato vines and different grasses. And so as I'm, you know, taking cuttings from my own plants, I kind of started eyeing up some of the ones in these planters that I don't grow and I thought they were really beautiful. So I started as I'm just walking by, going to my uh, car, just grabbing the odd clipping off of the plants. <laughs> and some of those were these potato vines, so they had two different colors, the green and then this deep purple. And I thought, you know, if I could just take a little cutting off of, you know, this and root it, I could grow it all winter long and multiply and get a whole bunch going. So that's what I've been doing with those potato vines. I also spotted some beautiful coleus that I did not have that specific color. Again, it was a really beautiful deep purple. So again, took a couple more clippings, took them home, put them in water, and now I've got about 10 of these going. So the other thing that I really thought was really pretty and I thought maybe I could just grab a one stem of was some grasses. I think it's like a millet or a foxtail millet. I never did figure out what it was. But again, I just grabbed a couple of them and brought them home, left them in this bag all winter. And I've already kind of taken it apart, but it looks like kind of like this. I don't know if you can see that. They're little wispy pieces, which I'm assuming have little seeds at the end. So I want to try growing these grasses myself this spring. So I just wanted to share that confession with everybody. Um, I don't think that, you know, kicking the odd little snippet off of a public uh, planter, it's not anybody's private um, planters that I'm stealing from. It was just kind of the end of the season. The plants are gonna freeze and die soon. So I'm hoping this is okay. Give me your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. But we're going to get some of these things planted up and see if we can get them growing. Okay, so this is the container that we're going to plant up the ornamental grasses in. And it's basically just, uh, I think, something that some mushrooms came in from the grocery store. I've poked a bunch of holes in the bottom and going to have it in a tray so I can bottom water. So like I said, um, I'm not sure if these are actually seeds that I or if they were at the seeding stage when I picked this off the plant. But I'm going to just give you another close-up. They're little wispy things, which I believe there's some little tiny seeds in there. So I am just going to try planting them just by poking that po pokey end downwards into the soil. We will be pretty generous with the planting here. If we have germination success, we can always thin them out, but we will see what we get. If anybody has any success stories with planting grasses, I'd like to hear them. I've done it a couple years. Last year I did ruby grasses, which um, I did start from seed indoors. They came up, but it, they weren't very strong plants and they didn't do really well out in the garden. They didn't really grow and and uh, look like I was hoping they would. Uh, previous year I tried pampas grass. I learned afterwards that pampas grass is a perennial that is not hardy to our zones here and it doesn't usually produce much flowers that first year. So um, it didn't really work out very well for me here on the prairies. So um, growing grasses from seed so far hasn't been <laughs> very successful and I don't know because these were kind of acquired in a not so ethical way. Um, maybe they won't grow, I don't know. I will cover it with just another light layer of 
my seed starting mix here. And as usual, I'm using a mixture of peat moss, two parts peat moss, one part perlite, and sterilized and moistened with boiling water. And that is all I use for starting my seeds. Okay. So this will go under the grow lights and hopefully maybe before I uh, post this film on my channel that maybe we'll see some germination, but we shall see. I will definitely keep you updated. Okay, so I've also got this 72 cell uh, planter all planted up with more annual flowers. I've already done the planting. I didn't think you wanted to see me do that, but I just wanted to let you know what we got started here. So I have some white snapdragons, and these are snapdragons that I grew two years ago, I believe, that from seeds that I bought, and I've been collecting the seeds the last two summers and growing my own white snapdragons. Very easy to collect seeds from snapdragons. Because um, I don't have enough coleus, I have like four colors, and then I found this one. You can see it's a really nice red, uh, kind of roughly leaf. It's called the Black Dragon. So I'm going to try to start this. This was $2 and there was probably maybe 20 seeds, super tiny. So coleus is something that I really like to try and propagate and maybe this fall, maybe I'll try collecting seeds. I've never done that with coleus, but something that's very easy to kind of keep going over the winter. And coral is another beautiful color of snapdragon I bought from a greenhouse. Uh, two years ago or three years ago, you know a six-pack I've been collecting the seeds of from it the last two falls and growing my own I've never uh, Collected seed from portulaca or tried to grow it, but I feel like it should work. So I Took um, all my portulaca plants uh, just cut a bunch of different colors kept it in a bag all winter and just collected the seeds um, this uh, spring and so hopefully we have some germination. Uh, these are some seeds that I have bought. So the alyssum is supposed to be really good to grow in amongst your vegetables like potatoes. Um, I've read so when I get a bunch of these going I like to just kind of plant them throughout my garden wherever they wherever they fit. So they're kind of a nice a nice white uh, plant that I think attracts um, good insects and um, maybe deters bugs from your potatoes. Not sure, but another good companion plant for the garden. And lobelia. I love filling my pots with lobelia and I never seem to buy enough from the greenhouse. So I'm going to try growing some. Also very, very tiny seeds. Um, and if I can maybe try to, you know, collect seeds from them in the fall, I will. But we'll see. I got a couple rows of those going here. And the last thing I bought, because I just grabbed these off the shelf the other day, some Dianthus, which actually says it's a perennial. Um, I'm not sure if it would be hardy enough for zone three. It does say it is here, but um, perennials never do well in my yard, but it will make a nice annual flower, if anything. So that's the last one that's in here. So these are going to go under the grow lights. Um, germination varies from seven days. Some of these have a 21 day germination, um, but I'll have them under lights and uh, humidity dome. And I will keep you updated on the germination. So it's only been five days since we've planted up all these annual flowers and not too much is happening yet. I can zoom in here and show you that the portulaca and the alyssum has started to pop through. You can see a lot of tiny little uh, seedlings coming up there. Everything else, uh, not too much happening yet. So I did Google how long it takes for these uh, grasses to germinate. I looked up a millet and a foxtail millet grasses and it is about 7 to 14 days. So nothing happening much here yet. But I will keep you posted and updated on how everything is doing here in my indoor growing space. We have a lot more things to get started. Uh, pretty soon will be tomatoes and peppers. So I am hoping that all these flowers that I have going um, can move out to the garage in a few weeks 
it'll be warm enough to put them in a sunny window. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.